Hey everyone, this is Alex with Virtual Set Lab, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to use a virtual set with DaVinci Resolve. All right, so let's open up DaVinci Resolve. And we're going to hit new project. I'm going to call this DaVinci Tutorial. And now let's navigate to our desktop or finder and bring in our media. We've got green screen presenter footage. We've got a HUD graphic and then a virtual set lab background with a monitor in the background. Let's drag and drop that all onto DaVinci Resolve and it's saying the clips have different frame rate than the current project settings. And then we can hit change so that our timeline matches the same settings as our media. I'm going to change to the edit workflow. I like working in that workflow when adding layers. So I'm going to add our virtual set lab background and then I'm actually gonna move that up a layer so that I can add this HUD graphic below it because we're gonna to have to key our background. So if I highlight the virtual set lab background and then go to the fusion workflow here, that's where we're going to add our key. So if you select this media in one layer, hit shift space on your keyboard, and that's going to bring up the tool selector. And so type in Delta keyer, and then hit add. And so that brings up your key settings here. And so we wanna click and drag, you can't just click, but you have to click and drag this eyedropper over to your background. And so it's going to key that color here. Now we can go back to our edit workflow. And if you select our HUD graphic and then go up to this inspector workspace, that lets you change the size or the zoom as they call it and the position of our monitor media. Now you'll notice it's not lining up and that's because the monitor is at an angle. And so not all monitors and virtual set lab backgrounds are angled like this. So you could stop here if it's not angled, but since this one's angled, I'm gonna show you how to use the corner pin effect to get this to line up better. So if you right click in our media pool window, you can hit new fusion composition. And let's call this corner pin comp. Create, and then if we double click it, it's going to open up the Fusion workflow. So what we want to do is bring in our virtual set lab background, and then our HUD graph media that's going to live on that monitor. And you can move things around really anywhere in here, just organizing it in the way that's easiest for you to see. It doesn't really matter where these things are on the graph. So let's select our media in one hit shift space on our keyboard to bring up merge if you type that in and then hit add and then if you click on this gray box for media n2 and drag that to the merge one box that basically merges these two clips so that your final result will include both of those clips and then you can click and drag from merge to media out one and that is basically what you're seeing as the final result so with media in two selected, that's our graphic that's gonna live on the monitor. If you hit shift space on your keyboard again and type in corner, click on corner positioner and then add, and you'll see that that added little corner pins that you can click and drag to line up. And it's a little hard to tell where exactly these are. So if you hold down command or control and then zoom with your scroll wheel on your mouse, you can also use your scroll wheel to move left or right or up or down, but that makes it a little easier to line it up with the corners. So let's hold down command and scroll out. Hold down command, scroll into this one. Let's 
let's make this fit again. Since we already have this virtual set lab media keyed, we only really needed this corner pinned graphic. So we can delete our virtual set lab background and the merge effect, and then just drag your corner positioner to the media out so that that's all we're getting over an alpha channel. So if you go back to our edit workflow, this was our HUD graphic on the video one track that wasn't corner pinned. So we can just hit delete on our keyboard and get rid of that. And then drag in our corner pin comp below the background and extend that out. And there we go. It's corner pinned. And then our top virtual set lab track is already keyed. So now all we have to do is bring in our presenter footage and let's drag that on top so that it's video three. And then with that clip selected, go to our fusion workflow again, highlight media in one, hit shift space on your keyboard to bring up your tool selector again. And then let's do the Delta keyer. Click add. Now, if we click and drag on our background color eyedropper, that keyed it there. Now let's go back to our edit workflow and you'll see that she's keyed. And if you go to this inspector tool here, that'll let you adjust the position. You can move her left or right. Now you'll see that we've got some green spill on the screen here, so we're gonna need to clean that up. If you go to our fusion workflow, for the Delta keyer, you can change the view mode to matte so that you can see black and white and you'll see where that spill was. It's kind of grainy here. So in order to clean that up, we're gonna need to go to the matte view mode here and let's bring up our threshold. That's basically crushing our blacks a little bit more until all that graininess is gone in the corner and then Let's crush our whites a little as well, because if we zoom in here, you'll see that she had some noise. So if we bring down our whites, that'll clean that image up a little bit. Now we got to change our view mode back to final result. And let's go back to the edit workflow and you'll see it's cleaned up there. We can move her, move her around and there's no more green spill. And so if you'll see our presenter footage lasts longer than our background. So what you can do is highlight the virtual set lab media, hit command or control C on your keyboard and go to the end of that clip and then hit command or control V. And let's do the same with our fusion composition, hit command or control C and then command or control V. So since these loop, you'll just have a looping video underneath. And that's about all there is to it on this one. Thanks everyone for watching and be sure to go to virtual-studio-set.com for all your virtual background needs. See you next time.